Hey, what's up, jellies? Uh, Jordan Boyle, Jellyfish here. And uh, today I'm just going to show my bookshelf. Um, it's rather small bookshelf, but uh, yeah, it's my first time doing a book bookshelf tour. So uh, let's get on with it. So here we are. We're in our, my little corner of the basement. So, well, mine and my wife's. It's her printing stuff and her cricket and all that stuff there. And these three boxes, or four, I mean. Um, that's full of her crafting supplies. So, uh, first off, let's go through the Sanderson shelf. Um, sorry, Stormlight Archive. So I got the first four installments of, um, Stormlight Archive there, and the two novellas there, Edge Dancer and Dawn Shard. After that is my Greenbone Saga. Um, this one is, has a signed book plate by Fonda Lee. This is my... Um, Ryra Revelations uh, trilogy here. Um, this was a gift from a buddy. After that is Legends and Lattes. I happen to squeeze right in there. It's got a signed bookmark from Travis Baldry himself. After that is my Kings of the Wild, Bloody Rose. Both are signed copies. And this is my Dandelion Dynasty. I haven't read that one yet. I plan on getting to it soon. I recently purchased these, so... I bought them all in paperback, and I got the first two books in Ranger of the Titan Wilds and King's Bargain, which was gifted to me uh, from winning a contest. These books are all kind of like, might be pushed in or out or whatever. Uh, my son likes coming and looking at the books. So uh, this is my Lycanius trilogy here by James Eisington and um blood swarm by john gwynn these are like the larger orbit books and behind it i actually have some books behind other books and that's the uh of blood and bone series by john gwynn over here is my cradle books as you can see some of the crafting stuff is kind of sticking out um these three are from the uh first kickstarter so they're signed by will himself but they're bigger than the rest of these. So I managed to just squeeze Springtide Harvest just perfectly in with those. So that really works out there. Um, like I said, just these little cubies full of crafts. Here's mostly my Bengali stuff. I got the Written, Forever King, Heavy Life's Crown, Heart of Stone, Blo uh, Scarlet Star. This is uh, Steve Narian's um, The um, Coward duology i can't remember what it's called and behind it there's some books uh that's my war for the rose throne and um the unexplored chronicles by dw ross uh my war for the rose throne unfortunately they're all like different sizes because they switch publishers so i just put them behind those even though it's one of my more favorite series over here we got um Hybrid Helix by J.C. and Bird. I got the first four here. Um, this one was gifted to me by the author himself just recently. And over here is my Bound in the Broken of Blood and Fire, The Fall, Darkness and Light, The Exile, and Of War and Ruin. I gotta get the ice after that. And over here, I got my UK editions of The Faithful and the Fallen. So... All these here. These two are uh, have signed book plates by John Quinn himself. This one is uh, my Wraith Mark. So I got uh, Mark Kings and Blood of Kings by Bryce O'Connor and Luke Kalmenko. And right here is the uh, Bloodwood Saga by Bengali and David Estes. I wish I could fit it up here with the Bengali stuff, but it's a bit too tall. Down here is all of my R.J. Barker. So I got uh, the Bone Ships, Call of the Bone Ships. Bone Ships Wake, and Gods of the Weird Wood. And right next to it is the Songs of Chaos series. And behind it, as you can probably see some books there, that is the um, Hang God Trilogy by Till Cold Holt. Hiding behind there. And here's my Shadows of the App shelf. So I got the first seven Shadows of the App books here. They're a bit kind of pushed out or whatever. Um, and the last three are hiding behind it. And... I got to manage to squeeze Sung's Camaria series, so Orbit of Sirens, Winds Quasar, and Threshold of the Universe right on top. And over here is my Harry Potter shelf. So I got The Crew by Sadir Samir, 
and the Hufflepuff versions of the Harry Potter series and Blood and Spear by Mark Timoney. Below here is just uh, mostly my miscellaneous stuff. Um, nursing textbooks, kids' books, uh, some of my wife's books, um, all that kind of stuff. Down here is majority uh, mass market paperback. I got the first seven Malazan books in mass market paperback. I'm trying to get Toll of the Hounds, but right now it's like $40 for a mass market um, because it's out of print, I believe. And in there, I also got the first uh, three Sun Eater books. And what else is hiding in there? Oh, yes, my reader copies of um, Stormlight Archive, where I don't read my hardbacks. I uh, read my mass market paperbacks, so they're hiding in there. Over here is a uh, majority of my uh, Cosmere stuff. So I got all of Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere books in mass market paperback from Elantris, Warbreaker, uh, Mistborn Era 1, most of Mistborn Era 2. Um, I also have Name the Wind and Wise Men's Fear. Um, and Lord of the Rings and Station Eleven hiding behind there. So yeah, and that's my bookshelf. It's a bit small. I got more books hiding around the house here and there. Um, they're mostly like in baskets in the living room or in a um like a cupboard or something for the books that i'm reading and plan to read so yeah that is my bookshelf